What's crack -a and It's your boy Brush Mode, just in case you did not know. So, hope you're having a great Thanksgiving. And, uh, well, I guess your Thanksgiving is just starting, but, uh, yeah, I hope you eat well today. Don't get hurt at the turkey bowls and enjoy the prey, all that good stuff. But I'm here for weekly pick 'em. We did good last week, 11 and 3. Uh, put in our record at 117 and 58 and 1. Not bad, not too bad. Weird slate of games this week, but before we get in, go ahead and leave a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and become a bro and subscribe. It's much appreciated, much obliged. I stream on Twitch as well. I do that like three times throughout the week. It's kind of random right now. Once I get my schedule down and whatnot, uh, I'll try to do that a little more often, but uh, or at least get a good schedule with that. But yeah, new mock draft comes out on uh, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, one of those two days. But let's go ahead, let's dive in. We got three Thanksgiving Day games. And uh, the first one, eh, not all that great. We got uh, Lions versus the Bears. This should be honestly an easy one for the Bears. I have them win 24 to 10. Uh, they got the undrafted rookie starting for the Lions. Um, and it's David Blow, I think is how you say it. But um, I just don't see it ending well for the Lions. I, 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 I don't know. I, well, I mean, I guess I do know. I, I know it's not going to be good for the Lions. The Bears, this should be an easy game for Trubisky and company. Um, the defense hasn't looked that great for the Lions. So let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one. We got Cl Buffalo versus Dallas. This one has a chance to be fun. Uh, ultimately, I think the I think the Cowboys will win. Over and under is 47. And shoot. The over and under for that Bears Detroit game is 37, if that doesn't tell you anything. But uh, yeah, these guys, I, uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, Dak, he didn't look great, but against that was against um, uh, New England. This Buffalo defense ain't too shabby either, though. But I think they'll be able to ride Zeke to victory. Uh, the run game for Buffalo hasn't been all that great. They might be able to establish the pass uh, or the play action early and i don't know i don't think josh josh uh, allen will have enough i think this bills teams or bills team will get exposed um not exposed but they're uh, they're a middling team and with a real easy schedule to start the year out with i think they won't be able to finish strong that's just my opinion bills might come out surprised i'm a dolphins fan what do i know fins up and for our last game we got a revenge match for really for the saints i got the saints win this one 31 to 20 over and under 48 and a half um i don't see how i the or atlanta their defense has played better not last week <laughs> they got they got wrecked blown out by james winston i don't see drew b breeze losing twice to atlanta this year i got them winning this one almost handedly i imagine atlanta will get some garbage time points now my Dolphins starting the Sunday slate games. They got the Eagles. Over and under is 45. I don't think the Eagles will need much. I think they'll control this game. I don't think they'll run the score up too much. Um, I believe in Ryan Fitzpatrick a little bit. I got him losing 27 to 16. I think Fitzpatrick will put points up on the board. So I don't think it'll be competitive, but I think the score will be a lot closer than it should be or it should have any reason to be in. And in my next one, I was so tempted to take the Bengals. I couldn't, though. I went with the Jets 26 to 20. I wanted Andy Dalton to come in, get a win. The Jets, uh, I mean, I guess they're hot. I don't know. I mean, they're 4 and 7. How hot can they be, right? But over and under is 41. They got the Jets as a 3.5 point favorite. So I have it about there. So. Yeah, I, uh, the Jets, they finished with a pretty easy schedule for the remainder of the way. So I definitely could see them climbing back to 8-8. Eight and eight. But uh, yeah, Andy Dolan and the Bengals, I don't know really know what to expect from them. I expect a little bit more on the offensive side, but uh, I got the Jets edging it out here. Titans versus Colts, man. Ryan Tannehill's too hot. You can't, you can't cool that off. I don't think... Indianapolis will be able to cool him off. T.Y. Hilton looks like he'll be out. Uh, that Colts offense just, uh, it's looking pretty stagnant. Uh, and yeah, I got I got Tannehill just leading this team to 7-5 and five and potentially retaking the division. That'd be interesting. 
And in our next one, we got the Packers versus the Giants. Another game I was so tempted to pick the Giants, but I can't I can't buy into Daniel Jones. I got Green Bay winning this one, 24 to 13. Over and under is 45. Packers six and a half favorite. So, oh man, yeah, I just can't buy into. Uh, I can't see da how Daniel Jones will score on this offense. It's gonna be probably all Barkley. Uh, but man, one man can do only so much. And we go to this. Oh, oh, this game. This game might be painted in crimson. Shoot, man, this is. We got Cleveland versus Pittsburgh. I. I got this one as close, uh, 17 to 16. Over and under is 39 and a half. But I mean, I don't see Cleveland's offense being very potent in this matchup. Pittsburgh is a very tough team defensively. I just don't see how Pittsburgh can score. I think a lot of it, they're going to be relying on short passes. They're going to occasionally take the shot downfield, but it probably ain't going to work. So. Yeah, I got Pittsburgh losing this one. And then we go to Redskins versus Panthers. I got Panthers winning 28 to 14. No, I don't think there's a chance that the Redskins can win this game. So watch them come out and win this game. Uh I mean, Haskins, I don't know. I can't I can't buy into Haskins yet just yet. Detroit's just that win against Detroit. Honestly, I should have saw that from a mile away, but uh, it happened, but Panthers, I, I think they'll be able to control this one handedly. And we go to another tough one. Jacksonville versus Tampa Bay. I was tempted to go with Tampa, um, but they're the favorite. I think Foles, gets, Foles and company gets it together. I think they're going to have a huge offensive day, especially passing. And we, if we know one thing about that Tampa defense is uh, they, don't, they don't cover receivers. So I got Nick Foles getting a win. Getting them at five and seven. This is a battle for who gets to that uh who gets that fifth win. It's a very intense battle. Very intense rivalry there in Florida. No, no Florida team's doing well this year. Very sad to hear. And then we got probably game of the week among the games of the week. 49ers versus Ravens. This one was a close call again. 46 and a half point favorite are the Ravens. I got San Fran losing this one. Lamar Jackson that it's not because not because I'm not making I'm not picking this because of Lamar Jackson and how potent that offense has looked it's how crazy good that defense has looked I don't know what Jimmy Garoppolo is going to do I don't think they're going to be able to run on this team uh, Manuel Sanders has kind of disappeared I know he's dealing with an injury and all but I got I think the Ravens are going to do just enough and that like I said that's a dangerous defense right now especially with Marcus Peters just Eden pick sixes like they're candy, man. Next game, here's my shock. Here's my surprise. I got Arizona going over the Rams. 31 to 19 at home. It's a 41 and a half point uh over under. Goff has played terrible. I know he typically plays better against teams that are under 500, but he plays horrible on the road. I can I, I can see this happening. I can see it. I can smell it. I think Arizona can get a dub here the rams have looked pretty bad pretty um the, the offense is non-existent so i think uh yeah i think uh arizona can do just enough and then we go to the chargers versus the broncos i don't care if it's drew lock i don't care if it's brandon allen i don't see how they can win this game at least offensively i don't see how they can put up points that's a very good defense especially in the secondary for the chargers this is a nice rebound game for philip rivers i don't think he'll throw four picks but who knows over under on that one is 39 so yeah i expect a low scoring uh game as well and then a game i don't think a lot of people think are gonna it's gonna be good i think it's gonna be a really good game raiders versus the chiefs yeah raiders kind of choked last week they just came they didn't show, even show up got molly Watt by the jets i don't think that's the case this is not a bad oakland team i think they'll be competitive not competitive enough to beat patrick mahomes but i think they will be competitive i got the game 30 to 24 in favor of those Chiefs Sunday night game. Another good one, man. Patriots versus Houston. Will the Patriots be able to get that offense up and going? Well, Houston's defense ain't that great, ain't that hot. I don't think they have to do much. The defense is fierce for the Patriots. I don't see Deshaun Watson doing much in this game either. I got Patriots winning 24 to 17 and in. Uh, what a Sunday night game or a Monday night game. 
Vikings versus Seahawks. This is going to be a battle. This is going to be a great game. Kirk Cousins is hot, and I'm going to ride Kirk Cousins. I, w- I really wanted Seattle in this game, but I was like, you know what? It's a 50 point over and under. Uh, I I got I got him. I got Kirk Cousins winning a close one. Call me a fool for believing in Kirk Cousins. I've doubted him these last couple of weeks, and yeah, he's played really good. And you know he has like the highest passer rating of any quarterback in the fourth quarter by a good margin. That's wild. You go, Kurt. You go. But that's it for the video. Go ahead, do the YouTube thing. Much appreciated. Much obliged. Starts and sits are out. If you don't know, now you know. And until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.